name is Jerry Mischewski with Balance Community. I'm here at the BC Warehouse and today we're going to be talking about soft shackles. What they are, how to use them, when to use them, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Soft shackles are a cool new thing that has been popping up in the slackline world. Uh, it's basically a loop that is um, reopenable and closable. Uh, via a big stopper knot and a noose on this side. So the way they work is you open up the noose, put the stopper knot on, cinch it down or milk, milk it closed, and then you have a super strong connection point there. Uh, this, the material that this is made out of, this particular one, is uh, 12 strand Dyneema rope with a 5 16 inch or 8 millimeter diameter. Um, the name of this rope is Amsteel Blue and it's been coated silver, uh, this particular version. Um, and uh, there are numerous ways to make a soft shackle with 12 strand rope. And uh, in the article that I link below in the description, uh, you can see all these methods and there's there's pros and cons to each. Uh, this particular method is the regular diamond knot. As you can see, it's a single body, single strand body here uh, with a nice little pull cord here for opening the eye. Uh, and this, this particular size is rated at roughly 19,000 pounds. Uh, so that's pretty substantial considering the weight of this, this thing. It's something like 20 grams, this, this soft shackle. And it, it conforms to whatever you wrap it around. It's super, super nice. Really, really durable material too, this Amsteel Blue. Um, it has excellent properties, which you can see in the other article that I linked to below on the Balance Community website. Um, so the, a, a few different times that you can use a soft shackle, uh, I have a, Alpine weblock here. Um, they conveniently fit perfectly into the anchor hole. And yeah, you can use them to connect any pieces of hardware together or even certain soft goods you can connect together. But if you look at that, that's so clean. So much lighter than a standard steel shackle. And if you set set the knot correctly and make sure everything's cinched down nicely. It's super, super durable. Uh, I've been using them for the past couple months, uh, testing them out in the field on long lines, on high lines, and uh, I've done a, numerous brake tests with these, uh, which you can see also in a few, in the links below in the description. Um, they're amazing amazing connectors and I think they have a lot of potential in the slackline world um, we'll soon be selling them in the BC shop and I also uh, provide tutorials on how to make your own because it's really not that hard to make your own um, and the most important part is this knot right here typically on a soft shackle the knot is the weakest link um, either the knot or the noose right here where it wraps around. And so if you if you tie your knot correctly and you build the legs of your soft shackle correctly, um, you can have a super strong connector. But it's also quite easy to not do it correctly. And so you have to follow the instructions well or just get a professionally made one, which we will be offering in the shop very soon. Um, so yeah, it basically covers uh, what a soft shackle is and how to use it. Um, feel free to make any comments below and um, please give a read to the article in the description because it has a lot more details on, on how to use them, how, uh, what they're good for, and the different techniques for making them. Uh, lots of good information. Uh, thanks again. My name is Jerry Mischewski with Balance Community Slackline Outfitters.